Hello everybody, my name is Dokrivo. Welcome back to Europa Universalis 4, episode 81 of Burgundy, where we are busy in one of the last wars of our time, in which we're going to take Paris, and then it's almost over with the game. We have six years, seven years-ish left, and that's about it. Oh, we're also at war with the Platinate and Hungary. Anyway, let's just get Kraken and def defeat some more armies, get some more sieges done, all that jazz. Yeah, this siege takes a while though to complete, so... Uh, this is going to be perfect if they all just come together right there, I can defeat you. Hello, folks. Thank you for joining up. And uh, this is actually a 2000 fortress, which is easier. I just don't know if I use this button. Uh, yeah, that that didn't work out either. We just have to not enough soldiers to do that. Um, over here, yeah, France has all level five fortresses, so that's useless for certain. But at least Portugal is doing its job over here by defeating more French. So let's see how much war score we get. We get two percent just from that defeat. Perfect. Um, this is, by the way, the really weird uh, situation for Portugal. Surrounded by Mali, Mexico, Ashanti, and Luango. Oh, Paraguay got... Wait, what? Paraguay is where Brazil should be? Perfectly fine. And oh, Granada is still in... Oh, that's where they got sieged up. Oh, Louisiana lost some territory to um, uh, to Britain, not America. Yeah, that's just too bad for them, but I don't really care. So, only Barcelona is being resieged. Oh, 21% already. Holy, 12,000 already. Wow. That goes quickly, this siege in Pyrenees. The Pyrenees, yeah, it just doesn't... You don't... I mean... I watch the Tour de France every year, I, at least I try to watch, and just by the way, the size of Aragon, it doesn't look like the Pyrenees are actually here, they're, because you think, well, um, Aragon is the north of Spain, so, and France has the south part of the Pyrenees, so basically, Navarra, Pyrenees, and Girona are the northern provinces of Spain, Roussillon, Béarn, and Labour are the southern provinces of France, in actual France and Spain, obviously. But, yeah. Siege of Pyrenees has been won. Let's just kill these bastards in Barcelona. Because we can. There they go. Once you guys are all there, then we'll run back and kill you off. The final pieces of... Yay! Bye-bye. Next one, Béarn. Ben, 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 Ben. Oh, Jesus, we lost the general. Damn it, general, you shouldn't have been lost. Um, free leader. Mm. Yeah, I cannot assign an emu anyway right now. Hang on, if I want to check something, and it's still too far away. Now I can still not core that province, sadly. Hungary entered an alliance with Salzburg. It's, uh, yeah, Magdeburg is already sieging up in the Platinate. Oh, wow. Platinate accepted peace, so that war is over. Won the Siege of Normandy. Um, Austria expanded itself and cut Magdeburg in half. Okay, that's interesting. So that war is... Oh, but they're in a different war now. <laughs> that's okay. Um, yeah, you can turn that off and... Just run into Armagnac, I suppose, and just finish that siege up as well. I mean, we're at 58% now, total war score, which should give us at least one more province. But um, I want to try and get Gascon as well. Do we even need it? I don't think we even need it. I mean, just these two is already this. And taking Normandy would be 94, yeah, but good luck getting to that war score. How angry would people be? It would be... F yeah, Great Britain, Sweden, Switzerland, they would be pissed. So, without Normandy, it would be... Reasonable. 50, 46 on Great Britain and Sweden is perfectly fine. 
So I'm going to take this deal and spice it up with some money. Uh, revoke course, not necessary. Um, I do want to see this deal broken right now. Can we break another? No, we cannot. So, there we... Crap. <laughs> I was just going to say, there we go, we make peace. And then I forget to send the deal. And we made peace. So, the time has come to either convert first or to convert later. Um, can you first march? Yes. But I just want you to go back to Antwerp. I want you to first march into Paris. But it is finally ours. Ile de France. Um, hill, hill. We will most likely not be able to convert it. Can I make it a uh, core in time? Yes, I Six hundred eighty nine to make it a car. Holy shit! Wow. Can I still get my research in time? Yeah, I guess. I mean, I still get nine a month, so that won't be a problem. How is our next leader? One one five. Yeah, I, I I do want it as a core of Burgundy, but holy shit! That's expensive. Uh, Roussillon, yeah, that's 82 by comparison. I mean, seriously. Um, actually, how much do we need? 10 a month. So, 600 would be 3 years. Uh, yeah, this is only this is only 8 extra months. We should be able to get enough administrative power. National decisions. Um, nothing here. Reduce overextension. Yeah, we're working on it. But we won't get it below where we need it to be for that one. That's too bad. Be well, the thing is, obviously, or not so obviously, the fact that we would have to uh, make a core out of Ceylon as well, which is simply not possible at this time. So, yes, we got Paris. Uh, what's the new capital of France? Maine is the new capital of France. Overextension is dangerously high because, holy crap, Ile de France is indeed... Yeah, so that's why we also have to do it. Anyway, anything else we need to do before we start the timer again? Um, cannot make a fortress right now. Cannot. Oh, I can make some temples, which is nice. Um, armories. Well, we would be able to build one in Roussillon. Roussillon could also use a duck. A dock, not a duck. Anyway. Um, treasury, nah. Trade Depot, actually, I think, yeah, Baden, and these two are not in the same node, so I'll build it there. And let's see how many people now are going to go into a coalition against me. Um, hang on, hang on. Hey, this is going to be fun the last few years. Yeah, I expected Sardinia to at least... So, let's do Gregory Twain first. Very proficient merchant, renowned for his attempts to improve trade customs and to stabilize the economy of our nation. Gain stability and diplomatic power or 50 prestige. Well, we're at max prestige, so we'll get the dis stability. So, that one kill them all has already been rectified. Anyway, the Massachusetts Humane, Humane Society. I think I know where this will be going. So Boston citizens concerned about the needless deaths resulting from shipwrecks and drownings has founded the Massachusetts Humane Society in order to save lives. Publishing procedures for dealing with victims of shipwreck and other water-related accidents was the first life-saving activities the society did, with instructions on where to find life-saving equipment and shelters which the society had placed on the islands and coasts of Massachusetts Bay, so we could give them the uh, Humane Society then 20 years of manpower modifier plus 10% but lose 20 admin power. Of they do well on their own, no need to help no help needed from us well. They are of, I have nothing for the manpower for 14 of those years, and I do need my admin power the coming years to finish up uh, if we can, our... Oh, Sweden has joined the coalition. That's a little um, more uh, annoying. But red plus 50. Yeah, so this is just... Is there not a better relations over time? Yeah, I will take it, despite the fact that he's 
worse. But the thing is, now that we get an increase of plus four every year on aggressive expansion, that's better for us. Um, Great Britain doesn't like us, but we can improve relations. Perfect. Uh, Aragon doesn't like us, obviously. And we're not even going to bother. Um, yeah, we're not going to bother with Sardinia either. We have stopped with Sweden already. Or Oh, wow. We were very close to Max anyway. Okay. Uh, Magdeburg. Yeah, yeah. We are allies. No, we're not allies. Huh. Despite everything, we're not allies. Maybe that was forced in the... Um, that military alliance with Port... Jesus Christ. Portugal has an alliance with Austria suddenly. Um, let's improve with Portugal a little bit more. The most expensive coring I've ever done. Not seen though. Because you can get insane prices with a certain... Uh, yeah, with one of the ideas on Hungary. The first one. Hostile core creation cost on us plus 200%. If you add the aristocratic idea on top of that... Holy crap. That's just extremely expensive well we can definitely afford another one of these because well we don't need it for tech anymore we are at our max in tech if we do get attacked i will do the improved defenses protect our brother spread our culture no not all not going to happen so how much years plus five years so that's the twin that's 1820 and in 1820 we can still do the tech because the year at the game ends at the end of 1820 uh, yeah well this is actually not that bad this is actually still a plus the Huns are you still allied we are still allied to the Huns actually wow impressive Austria doesn't like us obviously How's this? Ah, yes, Corsica. We are also still annexing them. Ha! Huh. Perfect. We've discovered Venice. A call to arms. Um, we have told them not to start any wars. Um, Salzburgian purge of Magdeburg. If we decline, we will get zero prestige. Hang on, hang on. We don't lose prestige. Well, sure. Why not? Mm. Hang on. Boundary dispute. We will press the issue on Magdeburg. And we shall decline their call to arms. Because we do not lose it anyway. Ooh, defender of the faith. We could become this. Sure, why the bloody balls not? End of the game. We just get everything we can. Salzburg is a cresting access. They can have it. Uh, no mission, obviously. Because there are no missions useful. Of course not going to form the Dutch nation now that we have Paris of all places. How are the buildings in Paris anyway? Whoa, almost all of them. Well, hmm. Yeah, we lost the town hall, the regimental camp, the road network. King's reputation tarnished. Um, embrace the reputation or lose one stability. Well, I will embrace the reputation right now. I mean, we still get plus five only. Jeez, that's not a lot. But still, we should have enough diplomatic power to gain the win in the end. I'm actually going to speed up some more and... or not. Um, oh, that's too quick. I don't want it at five for sure. Now I'm going to keep it at three speed. Um, my ex relations with Portugal again. That was Castile. Very close to being angry with us, that's for sure. How's the Pope? Oh, uh, well, we could get them positive again. Let's try that. Uh, back home from Portugal. Oh, hello, Venice. Let's improve relations with you. Yeah, sure, Pomerania can have access. Uh, we're not allied anymore with Magdeburg, I suppose. Dishonored alliance, refused to join a war, blah de blah. All the negatives in the world. Oh, well. Uh, let's see. Too many relations. I know. I get that. Six out of five. Alliance with the Hansa. Royal marriage Milan. Royal marriage Magdeburg. Can we not make an ally of Milan then? No, we cannot. Huh. 
Breaking Royal Ties still cost us one stability, though. But we are at three, so... Hmm. It's not the worst idea in the world to break us. And get some more Diplo power right now. Hmm. Oh, well. Well, let's just see. Can we still build stuff? Probably, but not right now. Core. Almost done making it core out of... Paris. Ah, oh, Paris will be the core that we always dreamed of having. Paris, Antwerp, Amsterdam, all of them are together in one nation. Under... Still Philippe? Yes, still Philippe. Ah, Ile de France. How long will that take? 72. Let's go. Six years. Just not enough time. They will be converted right after the game ends. Uh, military access from Great Britain. Sure, they can have it. Uh, Persia can have it too. Okay, when could we go to war again with them? 1820. Yeah, that's a little too late. So this is just finishing up the end of the game. Maybe build some more... Uh, ooh, we could build a lot of levels. Uh, badass fortresses. Why wouldn't we... Oh, they already have a special building, obviously. Dope. Anyway, uh, manufactories, unique buildings. I can still, you know, 12 months to build a march. Um, yeah. I would just simply like to have a march regardless. And I want it in... Where do I want it? Well, I guess Wallace would be perfect place. Wallace will have my march had it for such a long time naval equipment is is that all diplomacy that's administrative oh none of them are actually on it's a shame none of them cost military stuff so you know what we're gonna do then we're just gonna blanket the new world in the high level fortresses because we bloody can we have the money we have the Military power, because, well, actually we don't have all the power we need to do it. Hey, two, one more. Yes, I get it. Um, so there's probably only level one level five fortress you can build, and that's the one in Ceylon. So, there we go, that's the only level five. Oh no, we just lost our ruler. A 511 is the heir to the throne. Well, Louis-Henri de Bourgogne is the next one. Yeah, Poland can have access. So we lost some stability. But now admin power is going slower. Oh yeah, of course we're losing diplomatic on this one. Uh, plus three. Yeah, I guess we... St yeah, I would rather still have a plus three. Right now I do. Just to get that tech fixed up before the end of the game. Which will be quite doable unless we get too many negative events. But it will be doable. Alright, more fortresses. Yay. We're still coring Roussillon, but at least the missionary work will be a lot faster there. Um, here can we build. And here. Oh. Oh, let's build one there as well. So... Blanketing all level 4 fortresses still possible. Oh, we get 11 in each month. That's perfect. So we can build a new fortress every month. Um, fort and that. Insult France. Oh, yes. Let's build more fortresses. Just because we can. Diplomacy. France. Hey, wait, what? Ugh. Seriously? We cannot insult them. So that was the last mission we will ever accept in this game. Yep, that just happened. Um, oh, excellent vintage. Local revolt risk in Provence goes down by five. Wow. That's perfect. So, no more revolutions in the new world, I suppose. Just La Plata, Paraguay, and Mexico, and Louisiana. But the rest of them is all still a part of the European hegemony. Or is it hegemony? I'm not entirely sure. Um, you know what? This is actually going to be the last episode. I'm just going to speed it up. Get it finished up. And then this will be the end.
So this is it. Now we're just waiting and building these fortresses everywhere here. Uh, I can just wait for a while and just look at what's happening in Europe. Uh, do we still want to attack something just to take it over? Maybe Hesse for funsies. Hello Hesse, who are you allied with? Me. Hmm. That's cute. Uh, wow, minus eight on us. They almost vote for us as the next emperor. That would actually just get throwing off the throne if it's still possible. So yeah, let's improve relations with Hesse instead of taking them in. Uh, any one state nations left in Europe? We are Hanover. Allied with bloody no one. Wow, that's perfect. Um, declare war. We have no causes belly. And Thuring is protecting him. That's even better. Um, Neymar, accept the petition. I shall accept. I'm not that pissed off. Um, Austria, Hesse, Milan, the Papal State, and Venice. Yeah, that's a little bit more annoying. But they only have two provinces we would need to siege. Fort level 5, Fort level 4, that's a Fort level 2. Wow. Almost an instant defeat. Any other very small nations? Well, Venice is actually quite small. Who is Venice allied to? Well, half the world. Roussillon is now part of our patrimony, and they also deserve to become Caja Protestant. 19 months. Please go ahead and finish that. Uh, such a beautiful place. Ah, we can build seven more fortresses. I mean, eight more fortresses. Yes, it becomes more every time we look at the power. Uh, oh, right here. Five provinces in a row. Bloody hell. Them Indians get some... Uh, they got a, quite a few of these provinces. The Iroquois. Which is beneficial in some sense, but... Not really. So... Yes, this force has been here for a long time. Oh, we actually just maxed out Venice in relations. Oh, whoops. Could we just take Scotland? Augsburg and Bohemia. They would accept a uh, alliance, though. Hmm. Don't think we want it. But we could take over Scotland now. <laughs> that would be weird. Uh, oh, right. Um, let's put you in the harbor, actually. A lot more nice for you guys. So, Holstein. Um, diplomacy. Covert actions. Fabricate a claim. Uh, 5%. No, thank you. Now, that would make... Actually, that could ignite the final big war at the end of the world. Uh, fortification ex effect. Yes, sure, of course. Always improved fortifications. It's a free 10% bonus every time. Yay, we can do some tech. Oh, cock. Austria, welcome to the party. One, two, three, four, and five. That's actually all of them at level four. A level four tress. Not that funny. So, if we attack you... Take the capital of Vienna. Well, revolutionary war against the noble republic. Hmm. Interesting. So, how about declaring war on you? Take Savoy, Hungary, Augsburg, Pomerania, Salzburg, Aragon, Castile, Portugal, Luango. Allies, the Hansa only. Uh, Milan, really? You badass bastards. Yes, now the coalition is getting big. Sweden, France, Sardinia, Austria, Aragon, and Milan. Not scary, not scary, not scary, not scary. Was Switzerland in it? No! Actually, that's impressive. Switzerland does not want to join this war. Well, let's improve our relations with them anyway. Uh, oh, he's actually almost done. 5% left. Pomerania. Oh, yes, we have some tech issues that we can fulfill. One year before the deadline, we get... Diplomatic level 72. Can we now finally core Ceylon, maybe? 
Did that put it in range? Uh, no, actually the range hasn't extended at all. So it's actually a trade range, but col uh, colonization range that depends on it. So if we had like a province here, such as the one Portugal took from us over here, badass. No, that was this one. Unless we had that, then yeah, we then we could have done it. Alas, that is not the case. So, one final round of tech at the next year, which makes this all the worthwhile. Uh, fortification, yeah, sure. And um, let's finish a couple more buildings before the end of the game. So, integration is a slow process. Hello, Corsica. And bye bye, HRE. And another nation has been thrown out. Okay, I will disband you guys. I will disband you as well. We have one more fleet which also will be disbanded. Don't need them, don't want to use them. So we got two more provinces in Italy. Yeah, that's funky. Uh, groovy, even. So. Okay, on the. Hmm. Gain trade dispute against Sweden. They embargoed us. Oh, the bastards. So, last month, let's build a couple more buildings in our nation. That will take 12 months to build. Yeah, these take 24 months. These take 16 months. So, these can go. Uh, oh, we can actually build a better fortress in Corsica. Will do. Um, armories can only be built in Roussillon, but they're still converting. Yeah. Uh, 1825 until they're done in Paris with converting them. A shame, but oh well. Um, training fields in a lot of places. Barracks in a couple of places, which are going to be done. Uh, yes, there too. Um, can I build a training field in Wallace? I will build them there. Regimental camp, I can build one of them. Anywhere else, I can build some armories in the New World if I want to. So, um, logical places just for RP's sake would be Massachusetts and Ontario, because Massachusetts is our biggest city, Boston basically, and Ontario is where we have our uh, units stashed. So, diplomatic wise, that would be the stuff from marketplaces and such. Trade Depot can use that in Toulouse and in Pisa, actually. That's good. Canals. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Ooh, that's a lot more. So these. Uh, then Munster. Yeah, that's about it. Yeah, I'm not going to bother building anything in the last year of the game. And administrative power. Um, we need to th have a small calculation. There's 10% increase from 600. So I guess I can build maybe four buildings. I can build a town hall. I'll build a town hall in St. Gao. I'll build a treasury in... No, no workshop. I want to build some more buildings. Um, treasury then in Bourbon. Workshop in... Plus 82. That's actually pretty good. So, that's it. Probably can do the tech next month as well. And then the last year of having fun and not doing anything. Because why should we even start a war? If I mean, if they attack me, I will defend with all my power. Uh, improve relations with Britain is, again, possible. And the final tech. We've completed all the tech trees. Finally managed to convert the heretics in Rousselion. That's great. So, religion-wise, Protestant is the dominant religion, very likely in the European world. That's for sure. Orthodox is just Muscovy, it seems. Uh, yeah, right now demand payment in full. Hello, whoa, twelve thousand gold all of a sudden. No longer claim Gascon. Jeez, hang on, hang on, slow down. Um, pray for his life. No, we'll send for a Medicus, and he survived. The Catholics have uh, huh, put themselves into Japan. That's funny, I must say. Some Muslims are still everywhere. Uh, Hindu, pretty much, huh? 
yeah, Hindus got everywhere. A lot of Buddhists and confusion. Both confusion and confusion, but that's okay. Um, a trade map. Yeah, we just dominated trade in the world, probably. The world, according to Burgundy. We got most of Canada. We just missed Nunavik and Newfoundland. Too bad. Britain was first in Newfoundland, but Nunavik, that's just mean. Um, we have Ceylon, and the rest is this in Europe. Which is also not too bad a place, actually. That's so good to see happen. Could I just augment my uh, army a little bit more? I actually can with 8,000 more troops. So what we'll do then... Actually, wow, exactly 200 um, units. Let's build three sets of infantry for every army and just go a little bit over the limit. Because why the balls not? There we go. That's uh, more infantry to build. If we're one over the limit, who cares, really? Um, Thuringia. Wow, Thuringia in got Leipzig. That's impressive. Yes, you can improve relations here. And we can offer an alliance to Bohemia. Well, I'll rather just improve relations for now. Uh, all into Antwerp, all into Paris. Successful embassy. Oh, that's so good. Good embassy. Good boys. Makes the Pope happier. Um, yes, combine you all. Come on, combine. And the final combine. Which, oh wow, really? My latest hire actually died. Oh well, we'll get a new one. So, that's that diplomatic view. Oh, we got some... Magdeburg still, Royal Marriage Milan still, allied to Portugal, the Hansa and Hesse. Not the best of alliances, but we are on our own. I actually need to lock that. Um, the um, opinions, wow, not many people like us. Do, now do they? No. Portugal is actually the best of all in how they like us. And France hates our guts. So does Thuringia and Austria. Oh well, actually this is the end. I paused it at the last final possible day of the world. Show you a few more. Coalition against us, Sweden, Jesus, the other powerhouse in Europe. And of course, Austria, Aragon, France, uh, more Aragon here, Milan, and that's actually it. Oh, yes, uh -huh. Sardinia left the coalition, which is fine. Regions, we have most of the French region and all of the lowlands and the huge chunk of the German region. Wow, actually, Wallace is indeed considered a part of Switzerland. And we have two pieces of Italy in Corsica and uh, Pisa. Yes, our uh, own beautiful culture. We destroyed all the uh, Dutch culture. And we have some other cultures in place. We never did turn Brab on the way from Flemish. But then again, we have the max tech to show for that. Anyway, sphere of influence. Um, province you owned by your vassals. All right, unions and vassals. Well, vassals, whatever. We annexed the last few in the last few years, or these two, and to lose before that. Revolt risk map mode, we have zero revolt risk in our entire empire, perfect. Colonial map mode, we not everything is colonized because no European nations have managed to reach those places, interesting. Economical, yeah, decent in some areas in Americas, but seriously. Huh, Ile de France has become the second strongest uh, Income source in... <laughs> wow, Paris is more worth money. Manpower, yeah, that's a little bit iffy everywhere. Technology. Anyone else at max? Oh, Britain never got to max. Neither did Castile or Portugal or anywhere else. Ha, huh. we beat everyone on tech, I suppose. Trade value, we got some good trade value spots. Supply limit is just good all around. Buildings. Um can build five more buildings and yeah we didn't finish everything anywhere except for Antwerp which is colored blue because it has all the buildings it can possible own 
and then we have missionaries they're busy in Paris but that's the only place that's not Protestant right now players yeah it's just me hey look my wow my name is actually now on the screen hello Tokreva oh one back two back yay it's my name that's nice and final accepted cultures wow everything except for Catalan um, Lombard and Flemish was accepted in our nation maybe something in the new world um oh wow the euron oh my god i forgot to culture flop these um yeah that's just nobody has seen that happen wow we never managed to completely stomp out the euron whoops anyway yeah so let's forward to the end of the world January 1st, 1821, the end of the game. Well, 2nd of January then. So, our score. We have the largest army, the 4th largest navy, the 3rd most in provinces, 2nd highest province value, uh, highest income, highest trade income. Historical scores were actually above Britain and just below France, which is okay. Uh, we did not finish all the ideas, obviously. Uh, we, we never got our last one, but we have full technology. Anything to note? Well, that's actually before our times. Assaulted 100 year war, blah blah blah. Actually, this is all before our time. So, this was our first king that we actually started with Philip III. John II and Philip II before. So, this is actually the history of our nation. So, I will. If you want to read this now, I'll just pause on every little king bit. So Louis the first, um, 12,002. So if you want to read this, just pause it for a little while. Uh, 12,002, that's there. Ooh, campaign in the brutal Burgundian conquest of Utrecht. Wow, that's a long time ago. Uh, the yellow line there, the long Bohemian conquest of Wittenberg. Armies were competent. Nice. Wow, this was a long king, Louis the First. Jesus. Uh, okay, we'll put it to here. Um, da -da -da -da. Wow, this is a long. This is going to take a while. Yeah, if you want to read this, this is just doing that for you. You can skip this if you want. I mean, I'm not reading it. Well, yeah, I need to save my voice a little. Short English subjugation of Scotland. Oh, right, because we just joined that war for them to finish that off. Uh -huh, enough time to pause, I think. Ah, uh, here's enough to do. Then we get Philip the Fourth. We ended up with Philip the Ninth as our previous ruler, by the way. Hang on, this is again thirty-one years for, with one king, led by sick style. <laughs> Fought a two thousand man strong Frisian army led by sick style. Nice. Uh, yes, another one. Read fast or pause the game. The video, not the game, Jesus. That said, I just lost a game. Not this game, but I lost a game. Uh, yes, 1520. Oh, Jesus, we're still in the... Wow, we were first in the still in the first few years, and now we're skipping. I had a long war. Okay, this is when we started to uh, convert everyone in the world to Protestantism. Marie, we had a queen. We had a queen for 43 years. Bloody hell. That's a long time for any queen to be on the throne in that period in Europe. I mean, you had Elizabeth I, and that's about it. I mean, wow, that's actually pretty impressive. Uh, oh, the epic Hanseatic Colonial Punitive War. Why was it epic? I don't know. French, re French reconquest of Namur lasted three years. French fought Burgundy in the Battle of Gascon. For fine. Um, June the 2nd. Oh, wait, that's the end already. And now we're all going. Another king. 37. 27 years, actually. Not 37, but still. 27. It's still a long time. What was the size of the Battle of the War? It was when 30,000 men, led by the Burgundian Claude de Chalron, were almost unscathed attacking the 8th. Thousand men strong Hessian army led by Wilhelm V, who mo lost most of their forces. 
And here's another one. Introduce charge taxes. Huh. Against better judgment. Okay. Blasphemy Act against better judgment. Suffrage and Bishop Act. The reign of Johann saw the provinces of Barry, Bourbon, Massachusetts, Pennacook, Abnaki, Arcadia, Casper, Quidditch, Stadacona, and Sungau gained. In other words, this was when we were starting our colonization efforts. Um, Philip V, 32 years. Wow, we had some really good long kings. And a queen. 7,000, there we go, yeah. Wow, we're just halfway through now. I'll try and speed up a little. I mean, you can pause every second that it's up and just read down through it. Two more. Here we go. And another. Ah, here we go. Uh, 22 years. A little shorter reign, but... Whoa. Bryskow, Baden, Trier, Oneida, Mahican, Mohawk, Connecticut, Pocahontuck, Unamakik, Ontario, Algonquin, Atikamik, Labrador, Ungava, Cree, Koblenz, Aachen, Jaffa Cree. Uh, here we have an another 22 year. Uh, another 22 years with a king. Bloody conquest. Uh, yes, there we go. 1801. Oh, huh. Um, palindrome. Just saying. Uh, January 5th. Bloody blah. Moose Cree. Gained. Osnabrück, Munster, Orleans. Salt, Abidbi, Muscri, Mus Jaffa Cree, Atawapiskat, Atawapiskat, Ojibwa, and East Frisia. Uh, most of the provinces in North America are named after the tribe that was originally in that area. 26 plus 13 means 39 years. Jesus, little long king again. Uh, and go. And go. How to sum up a uh, 80 ep 81 episode long let's play in text, according to the game. Uh, all these wars, and not everything is talked about in it either. I mean, uh, okay. Uh -huh. Wow. Berg, Limousin, Rouage, Auvergne, Menominee, Sauk, Potawatomi. Whoa. I mean, we, we talk a lot about this particular tribe in class because we have a class on Chicago and they are in the Chicago area, Potawatomi. That's the first time I pronounce it perfect without hesitation. I mean, oh. Anyway, Michigan, Lenape, Seneca, Cayuga, Onondaga, Niagara, Huron, Ottawa, Swampy, Swampy Jaffa Cree, Chippewayan, Winnipeg, Atikaki, and Manitoba. Oh, Ben Guela was lost. Oh, yeah, that was the damn Portuguese. Here, once again, uh, 39 years. No, 29, but still. 29 is still long. Uh, thousand strong were attacked. Brief French reconquest of early on ended after four years. They call that brief. I mean, this is brief. Two years compared to four. Epic Burgundian conquest, Perigord. And uh, next, please, tenth of uh, the faithful of Benguela spurned the path of righteousness and converted to shamanist. What? It wasn't mine at the time. Oh no, we were trying to retake it any time. Co uh, Perigord, uh, Ceylon, Lakota, Dakota, Lakota and the Dakota. We know those Indians as the Sioux, but that's actually the wrong name because they um, Sioux was a word used by a different tribe uh, when they were talking to the French and denoting the so the French asked who the Lakota and Dakota were so the other Indian tribe not sure which one they called them the Sioux um, S-I-O-U-X and then it's pronounced Sioux and it basically means uh, snakes or enemy so very interesting in that case. And so you have the Lakota, the Dakota, and the Nakota, I think, are the three main groups. And then there are more tribes within each one and such. Uh, uh -huh. During his reign, oh, two provinces, Constanz and Ulm. And we have uh, three more, I think, to go. Epic conquest of Armagnac, resulting in success. Well, we didn't take Armagnac, though. No, we didn't. Most decisive battle, blah, blah. 
Aragonese reconquest of Napoli. Nothing happened. Oh, Austrian. Huh. About here. And on to the next area. Ah, oh, more provinces. Westfalen, Nassau, Köln, Poitou, Toulouse, Languedoc, and Avignon. Good. And second to last, King Philip the Ninth. Uh huh. There we go here. Long Palatinate reconquest of Mainz. Wow, that was a long one. Our armies were competent. Always nice to hear that. And Pisa, Ile de France, Roussillon, Faltz, and Alençon, Ile de France. Lovely. <laughs> Actually, in the last reign, and the one true faith embraced by Roussillon and saw the province of Corsica gained. So yeah, that that's it for the game. Um, we could have some. Yeah, okay, I cannot click the ledger anymore, but that doesn't matter, I mean. 201 out of 200 gives us the largest army in the world, and I love it. Anyway, I want to thank you all for watching. Remember that uh, you have three choices, and uh, you can also comment on this video or on our last video. Play CK2 with a mod, play Victoria 2, or play Europa 4. Either one of those three is a choice for the next thing to do. Anyway, once again, I want to thank you all for watching, and I will see you guys later.